Number nine, we have Triple H versus Shawn Michaels, a street fight from SummerSlam 2002. This was Shawn Michaels' first match back in over four years, and um, Shawn Michaels did not miss a beat. The two of these guys went out there, and they told a tremendous story. Uh, Shawn Michaels was a little bit safer than his previous run. He didn't take quite as many risks, but in this match, he he uh, made every risk count. Every every moment in this match meant something, and they would do little things like, um, first of all, the whole build up to the match and um, teasing the idea that Shawn Michaels might might re injure himself, and um, they they really uh, had had a great psychology in this match. You had uh, Triple H with a with a steel chair. He would do something very simple like. Just give Shawn Michaels um, a, a sidewalk slam into the chair, and um, the crowd would just be ooing and awing because they knew about Shawn Michaels' injury, and WWE really played it up in the storyline, and that added to the drama in this match. And um, just spots like this were very memorable. Shawn Michaels coming off um, the top rope with the elbow through a table, um, just seeing Shawn Michaels uh, up to his old tricks again. And of course, the ending, Shawn Michaels wins his first match back, but then Triple H attacks him after the match and lays him out. And um, it's just a very memorable match. And the crowd heat, uh, this was in Nassau Coliseum. Um, this was a hardcore WWE crowd, and they, they wanted to see Shawn Michaels again. And uh, there was the nostalgia. There was also um, just being able to see Shawn Michaels come back and do his old tricks again. Uh, impact on the industry was Shawn Michaels' first match back. He would go on to have arguably even a bigger run than his first run. Shawn Michaels would have many great WrestleMania moments, and um, this match right here was just the start of things to come for him. And of course, the event, SummerSlam, uh, one of the big pay-per-views of the year.